Hello guys, I just wanted to touch base with you and go over the schedule for the remaining weeks uh, for the semester. I also want to thank you for all the emails I got from you guys for the passing of my mother. Uh, it's, you know, it's always a difficult time um, for anyone when something like this happens, so thanks again. Um, back to business, so this week um, you should finish the animation drawing. Um, the deadline on this, uh, as you know, written on the schedule I gave you a while back, uh, is Wednesday the 14th. Okay, so I gave you plenty of time, so I shouldn't get anything late at this point. Um, because after that, we have a couple more projects uh, to finish the semester. I don't have any uh, finals per se, because I know that you guys are busy with other things, other areas of uh, study that you know you might have exam and things like that. So I didn't want to burden you with something uh, in drawing, and an exam in drawing doesn't make much sense. So Wednesday the fourteenth, that's where you turn in uh, your drawing for animation project. Then on Monday the nineteenth. Uh, we'll start some shading exercises. Uh, you'll have everything posted online, one, you know, like usual. Um, then the Monday, the 26th, shading ends. And then we will start a two-fold project, which is, you know, a portrait. You would create a self-portrait of yourself without instructions. And then I will give you instruction and you will redo the same portrait and we will have a before and after, okay? And that would be actually the last project for the semester. Um, so Monday the 3rd in May, uh, finishing the portrait after, you know, it's called after, you got a before and after. Wednesday the 4th of May, uh, it's a makeup day. So you have, if you have any late assignment, that's the day you want to turn everything in, okay? And you're also turning your portrait. And then Monday 10th, that's when the instruction ends. So no final exam, like I said before. So that's the schedule. You have it on Canvas, you can review it, but just I wanna make sure that we are on the same page. Now I wanna show you some examples. I showed that before to you. Uh, this is one of the submission final rendering uh, for the project of animation. The students chose to, so like I said, you need the spoke person you design plus the product. So not only uh, that students showed the packaging itself, but also the product, the ice cream, and then the turnaround with the five views. And that student chose to change the color every time. You don't have to do that. That's kind of cool. So I wanted to show it to you. That was on your original PDF. Uh, I want to show you another rendering. Uh, let, let's say, let me put it back a little bit here. Okay, that's black and white. Uh, I think that was for Apple, which is not usually a good choice, but this students, because it's not fun, you know, technology is usually not necessarily something that, you know, lend itself to cartoon design, but you know, that students did pretty well with this. So you have the spoke person with different project, uh, different products on top. And then uh, you have the turnaround with the five views, but since that students, you know, realized that there was kind of a hole on top, it had it like some expression, um, you know, like uh, being scared, being surprised, being angry, things like that. So this on top wasn't required, but since I gave, I give quite a bit of time that project every time. Uh, that students not only added those views, but also I, I did some shading, which you know in, in, increased in, uh, interest and enhanced your drawing. So that's another type of rendering I wanted to show you. And this one is sideways, as you can see, it's going this direction. Uh, and then finally, I got this one too, which was you know for a chain of ice cream pro uh, and food. So you have the spoke person plus the product like required and the five views. And if, of course this is inked. So everything must be inked. And then if you can shade or add color, that's always a plus, uh, especially that I give you plenty of time for this project. So that's all for now. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, email me.